Here is my JL Fender Mod that's going to fit on my JK. So if you take a look, these are my, this one's right here is modified already. It's going to stick right there just like that. The stock one, as you can tell, it's still got like the fins on it. So what you have to do is first, all these little tabs on the back, use a pair of snips. Snip off what you can snip off and then file down with a file for the rest of everything. Pull those little pieces out or whatever, snip off everything, file them down. Then also on this piece here, you're gonna snip this out with some snips. So as you can see, this one and that one look very different. That one doesn't have that lip on it. That one still does. So you're gonna have to cut that lip off, file it down to where it's real nice and smooth like that. That way, when you get ready to stick it on the side of your JK, that's how it's gonna be on there, just like that. It's gonna fit just like that and sort of look like the JLs. But what I'm gonna do is where all these little holes are, I'm gonna drill in here. And I'm gonna like drill all those holes out, probably just get an angle grinder, just cut me a big square out because I want the heat to come out of the side of the engine. And I'm gonna put a LED inside of there, inside of the engine bay. So whenever I put my turn signal on, I want all of these lights to light up. So my, my turn signal is actually gonna go up inside of here. I mean, make it look nice and clean. Like I said, take all those pieces off the back of it. What I did to know where I was gonna actually drill my holes, I kind of put this, placed it where I wanted it to be. And there all my holes are right there. Cause what I did is I stuck this pin through each little hole and just kind of scrubbed a little bit. So now we just went through and connected the dots. So I know where the air holes are and how I want this thing to aerate itself. So I can get an angle grinder or a drill. If you get a drill, you can just pin drill it, like just whatever. But I'm gonna get an angle grinder and cut out me a nice big like rectangle right there. Cause I don't really, you're not gonna see it anyways once this cover is on. So I'm gonna cut me a rectangle and call it good. I'm not drilling all those little holes. I just wanted to know where the holes were. So eventually I went and got the angle grinder. I didn't like how the holes looked so I got a bigger one. So I just made that thing a complete hole. So once you put this over it, you don't really see it anyways. And there it goes. That's going to be black. I decided to go with black to make it look like one big hole. Once that cover is on in that nighttime, the hole's going to look a lot bigger. But really, that's all it is. Okay, there's my 3M double sided tape in certain spots. So, what I'm going to do now is stick it on there, give it some time to kind of mend a little bit. It should be fine. There it is. One side is done. I've got my JL mod on my JK. That thing is stuck on there and it ain't coming off. That's pretty cool. And it's a functional air vent, not just a, you know, it looks like, no, it's actually, there's going to be heat coming out of that vent. That's what I deal with those two top ones. I got heat coming out of there. Now I got heat coming out of my side one right there. This is like a little JL, huh? It's pretty cool looking. I like it.